Hi Cancer, this is your June 10th through the 16th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. The first spread is going to be new love entering your life this week. Um, in the second spread, we'll check in with those of you who are already in a relationship or married. In the third spread, we'll see if anybody wants to get back together with you this week. After that, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And uh, we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week. Spread. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have uh, the Five of Cups, clarified by the Four of Cups. Then we have uh, the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Chariot, clarified by the Nine of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands. And uh, we also have the Hermit on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Sagittarius. We have you, <laughs> but you could be dealing with any zodiac sign. So here's the deal. Let's let's talk about the the first two cards. Yeah, let's start from the beginning. Why not? So we have the five of cups clarified by the four of cups. So we have four, four and five. So this person um, missed either missed an opportunity with you at some point in the past. Maybe you're not even aware of it, or perhaps you yourself rejected this person. Uh, at some point in the past. Perhaps when they approached you the first time around, whenever that took place, it didn't resonate with you for whatever reason. Maybe they didn't come towards you correctly or what have you. Maybe you were uh, in a relationship or something like that. Maybe you were busy. <laughs> I don't know. But for some, I think it's like for some of you, this person definitely missed an opportunity with you. Like I said, maybe you didn't even know it, right? Because the Five of Cups is a card of a disappointment, the Five of Cups is a card of a grief and regret, and the Four of Cups, clarifying it, is a card of a rejection or not taking action. All right. On the bottom of the deck, all the way to your end, we have the Hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. The Hermit is a Virgo, major arcana card. Or, you know, after those two cards played out, the Five of Cups and the Four of Cups, they went within. They started doing some soul searching. Uh, they went through some kind of a thought process. All right. For some of you, that's because they missed an opportunity with you. For others of you, because they screwed up by approaching you incorrectly the first time around. So here they come again, or here they finally come with that Wheel of Fortune clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, right? These are some serious cards. One of them, the Wheel of Fortune is a major arcana card and the Ace of Pentacles is a very serious offer. It's one of the two aces, by the way, but it's a very serious offer. And the Wheel of Fortune could be a repeat of a cycle, a repeat of the attempt, <laughs> or a finally um, an offer to get the show on the road, right? The Wheel of Fortune could be uh, interpreted as multiple zodiac signs, Sagittarius is one of them. And uh, the Wheel of Fortune is like a turnaround. So now they're definitely coming towards you correctly. The Ace of Pentacles always comes from somebody who is serious, somebody who is ready to settle down, somebody who is ready to start a relationship, or somebody who is ready to get married and things like that. In the middle right there we have the Chariot, and that is you. That is your major arcana card. It's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own reading. It always is. That means everything pretty much revolves around you and you're the one calling the shots. As I was clarifying the chariot, I simply asked how will uh, Cancer feel about what's going on and the Nine of Cups showed up. <laughs> so you're going to be satisfied. The Nine of Cups is a card of a satisfaction, fulfillment. It's also a card of an event or party or some sort. But you're definitely going to be satisfied at least with the fact that this person is coming, coming towards you. Or they're coming towards you correctly this time. All right. In the potential outcome, we have the Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But to me, personally, the Knight of Pentacles is like an extension or the extension of that Ace of Pentacles we were looking at earlier in the spread. You see how in the Ace of Pentacles there is a hand offering a pentacle? And uh, in the Knight of Pentacles, we do have a person riding a horse, a knight riding a horse, also offering a pentacle. Right? Same exact energy. This person is serious because the, the Knight of Pentacles is the most serious, the most grounded, the most long-term oriented knight out of all four knights. And it's also the most uh, financially <laughs> abundant knight out of all four knights. And it's sitting right next to the Ace of Cups. Second Ace. So it's not only about practicality, it's not only about being serious, but it's also about love. The Ace of Cups is the most loving Ace out of all phrases. So it's like you, you basically get both. Practicality, down-to-earth, seriousness, long-term, and love. 
And the four of wands right next to the deck is a card of a um, commitment of marriage. To me personally, the four of wands always reminds me of an actual wedding. Some people call it the 11-11 card, but it's like a perfect combo. Those three cards are perfect together. The Knight of Pentacles, down to earth, practicality, long term, the Ace of Cups, love, and the four of wands is what it actually leads to. Okay? Yeah, looks good. Let me know in the comments down below, Cancer, how this plays out for you exactly. I'm kind of curious whether this is somebody who had a chance with you, but they blew it, or they're trying again with you, and this time it's going to work. I really want to know. <laughs> All right, Cancer, really happy for you. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, uh, Cancer, this spirit is for you. We have the Three of Cups, clarified by the Page of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Two of Wands, clarified by the uh, Queen of Cups, and uh, we also have the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. Um, so here's the deal, Cancer. I assume you're the Queen of Cups here, right next to the deck, clarifying the two ones. I also assume either your significant other or maybe somebody else uh, is inviting you to go to some kind of a party. <laughs> but you need time to think about it. All right, so that's what I see here. So we start with the Three of Cups, clarified by the Page of Cups. So Three of Cups is a card of a reunion or a party or absolutely any type of an event. The Page of Cups, clarifying it, is probably an invitation to go to that event. Now, the Page of Cups could also be a child, so it could be a child's uh, birthday party, child's party, what have you. The Six of Wands in the middle, somebody is coming your way with that Six of Wands with the attitude of, yay, let's do this, right? Yay. Why don't we go to this party? Why don't we go to this event? You, on the other hand, you need time to think about it, right? Because the two of wands is a card of somebody who needs time to process this, or somebody who may, needs time to make a decision, or somebody who may, needs to make a choice. Perhaps it's one of the events that you're going to be invited to, okay? The High Priestess on the bottom of the deck, um, it's actually the only major arcana card here. The High Priestess is a card of intuition. It's also kind of a secret, maybe it's a surprise party or, or private party <laughs> where you simply uh, need to decide um, based on your own intuition. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody wants to get back together with you, uh, Cancer, this week. Uh, keep in mind it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the full temperance death, clarified by the Ace of Swords, and uh, we have Judgment on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries, uh, Sagittarius, Scorpio, maybe an Air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Well, before I pulled that clarification card, that Ace of Swords, before I pulled that one out, every single card on the table was a major arcana card. The Ace of Swords is the only minor arcana card here. So this is something serious, something major. Right, uh, judgment on, on the bottom of the deck is a card of somebody coming back from the past. It's also a card of having to make a judgment call. The fool could be an Aries, but the fool could be a card of second chances, wiping the slate clean, starting from uh, from the ground up, from <laughs> from the beginning. Right, temperance could be a Sag you're dealing with, but temperance could be a card of patience and healing. And then death could be a Scorpio, but death could also be a card of an ending or a card of a transformation. So I think it's going to be up to you how you want this to play out. Even though that came out last, I still don't see it as a 100% ending. No. It could be a card of a transformation. Perhaps with that Ace of Swords, you need to talk about this. Because the Ace of Swords could be a card of some kind of truth coming out. It could be a card of a new beginning. It could be a card of somebody saying yes. And uh, it could be a card of like a very straightforward, no BS conversation. Right, and based on that conversation, you can decide how the death card could play out. Is is it over? Is it done with? No, no need to res resurrect something like this. Or maybe you guys can talk about changes. You know, if you were to get back together, th things cannot be different. Things cannot be the way they were when you were together the first time around. So if uh, changes are brought in, <laughs> then maybe you can give it another shot. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Cancer, this week. We have the Six of Pentacles, clarified by the High Priestess. We have the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Three of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and uh, we also have Temperance on the bottom of the deck. Um, it's a bit of a strange reading. <laughs> but uh, we do have you, right? The Queen of Cups, right there in the middle. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. As I was clarifying the Queen of Cups, I asked how will... Uh, cancer feel about this? 
And the Three of Cups showed up. The Three of Cups is a kind of a reunion or a celebration. But, <laughs> we start with the Six of Pentacles clarified by the High Priestess. The Six of Pentacles could be a card of generosity. So maybe somebody's being generous with you and uh, uh, you're happy about it. You feel like celebrating. Or the Six of Pentacles could be a card of a choice. Okay, so perhaps they're choosing between you and another person. Uh, maybe you're just one of the candidates for this job, for this uh, promotion for this contract or what have you. The High Priestess clarifying the Six of Pentacles is a card of a secret. <laughs> or it's a card of intuition. Right? So maybe there's 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 like a, a group of people getting together and they're deciding. Right? But nobody knows what the decision is. Or what, what the decision is going to be. Or they're going to choose you but they're going to tell you to keep it under wraps for now. Don't tell anybody. Even though you will feel like celebrating. <laughs> okay? Maybe they'll just tell you, to keep it to yourself, don't, don't make it a, like public information just yet. Right? Or maybe it's like a secret uh, celebration at your workplace and uh, they're choosing you to, partic to participate. Or maybe they're just being very generous with you um, and uh, maybe they're giving you a bonus but uh, they still tell you, don't tell anybody that you got a bonus because not everybody got a bonus <laughs> or something like that. All right, uh, right next to the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles. It, it is a card of work, business, and finances. All right, so yeah, let me know how this plays out for you, Cancer. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Cancer. We have the Three of Cups, the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Page of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Seven of Cups <laughs> on the bottom of the deck. It kind of reminds me of the couples spread I did for you um, towards the beginning of this reading. It also reminds me a little bit of the work, business, and finances spread. All right, so we got we got parties. You've got a lot of parties to go to this week. That's what I think is happening. Right, and what you're not expecting is perhaps having to choose between a couple of parties or actually what you're not expecting is having to go to, to so many parties, right? Because uh, we start with the Three of Cups, it is a card of a reunion or, or party and the Nine of Cups right next to the deck. Every once in a while this card could also be interpreted as a card of a party or an event. Because in some tarot decks and the Nine of Cups people are standing around and celebrating. In the middle we have the Eight of Wands, which is a card of communication or travel. And the Page of Cups clarifying it is an invitation. But again, it could be multiple. Multiple parties, multiple events that you're going to be invited to. The Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck, it's a card of a multiple choice. Alright? A lot of choices, a lot of options. It could also be a card of intoxication. <laughs> Cancer. So be careful. Pace yourself. Be careful. Alright? Don't overdo it. Yeah, summer is almost here. We did have an unofficial start of summer a couple of weeks ago here in the United States. So, yeah, it's warm outside, pool parties, picnics, uh, and all that good stuff that comes with it. <laughs> Cancer. All right, so yeah, that's what I have for you for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Cancer, have an amazing week.